everyone. Welcome back to Poets and Quanza's Must Reads, your quick digestible recap of the top business school news sponsored by Center Court, our virtual admission events. I'm your host, Christy Blyzeffer, and I'll be highlighting the most important P&Q stories you might have missed. So let's get to it. Number one, Wharton MBA, jobless for a year, says many like him are suffering in silence. John Costa's struggles to find work as a Warden MBA struck a chord with Poets and Quants readers. Not only is our story on his journey since graduating from Wharton in 2016 among the most read of 2024, but since its publication more than a month ago, Costa has received huge outpouring of support. Costa's background is in law enforcement and crime and intelligence analysis. He says a little over a decade ago, he decided to get an MBA because he saw little opportunity for career advancement in the public sector. His goal, to find work in management consulting. But that's not how things have gone. Costa updates readers on his job hunt and prospects and first sharing his story with P&Q. You can find it in our trending tab. Number two, Duke Fuqua received more MBA apps than ever for fall 2024. History is happening right now at Duke University. After receiving the most applications ever to its daytime MBA program, the Fuqua School of Business has enrolled 51% women for the MBA class of 2026. The first time in the program's storied history that has achieved gender parity. The school received the most MBA applications in its history in the 2023-24 cycle, up more than 50% from the previous year. The turnaround from the past couple of cycles followed Fuqua to seat its biggest class since the pandemic year of 2021. This is the first in our series of MBA class profiles at all the top schools. You'll find this one and all the upcoming profiles on our homepage. Number three, nominate the best undergraduate B-School professors of 2024. Attention undergraduate business school professors, students, and administrators. Nominations for Poets and Quants for Undergrad's annual Best Undergraduate Business School Professors are now open. Between now and October 7th, 2024, we'll be taking nominations for professors to be considered for this year's recognition. You can find guidelines for this year's list as well as fill out our nomination form on our sister site, poetsandquantsforundergrads.com. Number four our weekly roundup of news you can use. No matter where you are in your MBA journey, we bring several helpful stories for you this week. First up, the Introduce Yourself MBA essay. This article, up now on our homepage, invites you to ask what you'll bring to the school community. Next, how to highlight growth in your MBA application. This article explores vital success factors that will get you noticed. You can find it in our, on our admissions hub. And finally, communicating why you need an MBA. There's a vast difference between knowing internally why you should get an MBA and conveying those reasons on paper or in person. This article in our admissions hub shows you how to explain why you need that MBA in your essays. And that's it for this week's Must Reads Recap. I also want to alert school sequels to our events tab from our main menu. There you'll find all the upcoming admission events for a range of degrees and programs, including full-time and online MBAs, specialized masters, entrepreneurship, and more. Registration is free. Again, I'm Christy Blyzepper, and you can join me next week right here for a recap of what's important in the world of business education. Thanks for listening.